Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Kelvin from Make3DComics.com and BlackSunComics.com. And today I'd like to go over how I do image compositing using Daz Studio and Photoshop. Stay tuned. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to use this image that we see here. It's going to be the opening scene from issue two of my comic, Black Sun. I'll actually include a link to issue number one in the description below. And what I want to do in this video is basically show you how I made it. So it was done using a process called image compositing. And for those of you who don't know, image compositing is basically the act of combining different visual elements from separate sources uh, into one scene to create the illusion that they were all part of that scene to begin with. So if we look at this image here, we'll, we'll see a number of things going on. First of all, there's this structure in the foreground, which in the world of Black Sun is going to be a Kaimana temple. And then we have this futuristic city skyline. So there's kind of two, you know, to add depth, there's this background um, skyline that's been silhouetted and then these foreground futuristic buildings. Um, you'll notice some more palm trees at the top. There's a sky and a sun and a, and, and a lens flare as well. So at first glance, it looks like it was just one image, which is what I was going for. But really, this is a series of images put together in order to create this final image. And I'm going to go over where those sources come from now. I'll hop on over to Daz Studio. And this is the 3D model that I used for the Kaimana Temple. I forget the original name of this model. Um, I'll, I'll include a link. Actually, I'll include links to all the products that I've used for, for this image uh, in the video description below. But I, I really liked this one. I, I, I felt that it matched the, the, the look and feel of what I was going for for, the, uh, for my story. So I've used this model. And usually what I like to do right now, I'm in perspective view in Daz 3D. Uh, normally what I like to do is create my own camera. So if you go over to the cameras tab here, um, where is it? Yeah, I've created this wide camera, a camera that I've called wide. And the reason why I like to do this is just because it allows me to have a little bit more control over what I'm taking a picture of essentially in Daz Studio. So I'll just switch to that wide camera here. Uh, once it lets me. It's a big model, so things kind of slow down, which is part of the reason why I like to do my image compositing in Photoshop as opposed to all in Daz Studio. When I start loading up really complex models like these, uh, it just slows down my computer. Uh, so it's easier for me to render out each image from Daz Studio and then put it all together in Photoshop. So this is the composited, well, the composition of the image that I took in Daz, and that's what represents this here. I'll just single out this layer so you can see. Uh, where is it? Here's the temple. All right, so that's what it looks like. Okay, and next what I did was work on the skyline. So as I mentioned before, there's actually two, two separate versions of the skyline, the silhouetted version and the one with more detail that exists in the foreground. And as I hop back to Daz Studio, I use this model. Uh, this one I believe is called Griebel City Blocks. I think it's version two, but don't quote me on that. And I made the skyline. So one way, just a little tip, one way to get your models to um, stretch a little further, you'll notice here is um, a lot of the buildings are repeated, but in order to give the illusion of more variety in the skyline, what I've done is, I'll zoom in a bit. What I've done is, is I've rotated some of the buildings on 45 degree angles, some on 180 degree angles, some on 270 degree angles. So even though there's probably about three, three or four different uh, towers in this package, I can add some more variety. And you see that more when I go to the front view of my camera here. So this is what I rendered out from Daz for the skyline. And the way that looks in Photoshop is like this. All right, so then I add my filters on to give it the more um, comic book look. And then I just pull that into uh, into, Des into uh, Photoshop here as another layer. So I'll turn off the temple. 
I'll turn off the palm trees. I'll turn off the clouds and the sky and the sun flare. So as I said, there's two versions of the skyline. There's this first one here with all the detailed futuristic buildings in there. And then another layer with the silhouetted ones. And the silhouetted ones, uh, that's not it, this one here. It's this image here. So basically what I've done is I've taken a bunch of copies of this and pulled them into this new image where I um, where I played with the the hue and saturation and you know desaturated it and made it very dark and played with the levels to bring up some highlights in the buildings and kind of mesh them on top of each other to create this collage sort of uh, skyline. Again, this is an illusion, a way to make my base towers go further in the program, add some variety to the skyline. So after I mashed all this together, then I brought that into my final image here. So these two layers make up the skyline. And then when I add the temple, I get this. So it's already, uh, you know, it's looking pretty cool. I'm liking the way this looks. Uh, after that, and that's basically the only two images that I use from, from Daz, the only two models that I use from Daz Studio. The rest was done within Photoshop. So there's the background that I used uh, for the sky. And this is just a stock photo. I think I found this on pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S. And that's a site that's good for royalty-free stock images. So I just looked up Sunny Day, I believe, and I found this one. I'm like, okay, yeah, this, this works. So I'm using that as the background. So I'll add my skyline and then my temple. Here we go. And palm trees. So there's the palm trees that are in within the, the model itself, but I wanted to add, add a few more. So those were digitally painted in. I had some Photoshop brushes that uh, make palm trees. All right, so there's my palm trees and they're just silhouetted. I'll remove the sky here so you can see. Just silhouetted. And then when I add them in addition to the, the temple, the background, it just adds a bit more. I don't even know how you describe it. Just a, a bit more. It, it looks it looks right to me with these extra palm trees there. There's my city skyline. Uh, there's the sun. Actually, let's go to the sky. And then the sun. So again, this is uh, some more digital painting and Photoshop brushes. I've just painted on the, the sun and some extra clouds, which are very subtle, but they're, they're there. So you can, you know, it adds a bit more depth to the, to, to the image. And then I added a lens flare and that's, that's my image compositing using Daz studio and Photoshop. It's a very easy process. You just render out your images from Daz studio, bring them into Photoshop, put it together and build your image. So again, this is going to be part of the opening of issue number two of Black Sun, The Longest Night. Uh, if you liked the video, press like. If you enjoyed the information, please subscribe. Follow us on social media and I will catch you next time. Thanks.